Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Jessica Raceli, Rene Alexi, William, welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Time to start with the class. Okay, let me share some material in this moment. Okay, let's begin with the with this conversation. Pay attention, please. Page 44, exercise 2. Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Again, listen. Page 44, Exercise 2, Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. A great view, right? Nice. Now, look at this. Here we have some just no question. Look at this. It says, do you live downtown? Does, does it have a view? Right. So in this case, we are describing the the yes no question, right? We're describing the yes no question. Okay. And what are the structure? What is the structure of the of the yes no question? Well, first we use the auxiliary do and does, right? In the case of you, you don't say does you know, you say do you. Do you do you live downtown? Do you live downtown? Okay. And does it have a view? So we use here uh, the auxiliary does. And we use does with he, she, and it, right? Okay. But let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Linda says, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room. A bedroom, a bathroom, 
in a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? Do you live downtown? No, I don't. No, I don't. I live near the university. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view. It has a great view of another apartment. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now listen one more time and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. My new apartment. Listen and practice. And repeat, please. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, that's it. Now, we're going to practice the conversation, but before to practice, uh, we'll take the attendance. So please say present. Oh, here I am. Or oh, present in Spanish, if you want to say, right? Elsa? Present. Thank you. Jessica Carolina? Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli? Present. Estenia? Freddy? Present, teacher. Welcome, Freddy. Thank you. Gracias, Maria. Ada. Jonathan. Present teacher. Rene Alexi. Present teacher. 
Ingrid Marisol. Ingrid. José Atilio. Present. Brenda Lee. René. Present. Okay. Evelyn. Present. William. Present. Irenia. Present. Okay. Let's see. Now let's practice the conversation, please. Uh, I want Elsa to be Linda. And I want uh, Jessica Carolina to be Chris, right? Okay, please. Okay. Cameras, cameras on. And one, two, three, action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really nice. It, it is it very big. Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you like downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it, do. it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, nice. Thank you. And look at this question, right? Do, do you live, right? Do you live downtown? Vivís en el centro, you know? Do you live downtown? Okay. Now, uh, I have now uh, Jessica Araceli and Freddy, right? Freddy, you are Chris. Jessica Araceli, you are Linda, right? Are you ready? One, ready. two, three. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Ready, Freddy. Diez cuatro, Freddy. Teacher, se me salió ahorita entre eh, Chris, okay. ¿verdad? Yes, you're Chris. Okay. That's great. What is like? It's really nice. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live Dobton? Do no. No, I don't. <laughs> I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a grid width of another apartment building. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Tell thank me. you, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, gray view, gray view, building, building. Now look at this question, listen, it's the intonation. Ready, listen. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Repeat, Freddy. Does it have a view? Does he have a view? No, does it. Does hit? No, hit no. Does. Does. ¿Cuál, cuál está leyendo, teacher? This one. Does it. Ah, does, does it have a view? Again, does it have a view? Does it have a view? Okay, that's it, right? And look at this. Eh, what's it like? What's, what's, what's it like? What, what is like? No, what's what it? What is? No, what's, what's it? it? Uh -huh, that's it. What's, what's it? it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? Is it is it very big? It it is. No, is, is it. it is it is it very is it big? very big? Is okay. it very big? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Teacher, what? Downtown. Downtown. Nice. Do you... Downtown. Downtown. How do you downtown. say downtown in Spanish? El centro. Okay. Okay, downtown. Okay, class. Now I will have uh, Jonathan. 
Jonathan, you are Linda, right? And Rene Alexi, you are Chris. Are you ready, boys? One, two, three. Action. Uh, guess, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has is is have a is have a bit living room and bedroom and bathroom and a kitchen. Nice. Do you like that one? No, I don't. I like new nerf the university university. That it has a need. Yes, I does. It has it have a it have a view of other apartment building. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Now look at this question again. What's it like? Jonathan and, and uh, Rene Alexi? Your camera, Rene Alexi, what's please. It like? Camera on. What's it? What's, what's it, it like? What's it like? What's, what's it, it like? like? Excellent, you see? And then leave. It's not live. 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 Do you live, live downtown? Repeat, please. Do you live downtown? <laughs> Do you live downtown? Do you live downtown? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And look at this. We also say eat. Does it? Does it have a view? Does it have a does view? It have... Does, does it? Does it? Have a view? Have a view? Okay. And look at this. Gray view. Jonathan, repeat, gray view. Gray view. Okay, excellent. Una gran vista, right? Now. And remember that when we're practicing this conversation, you are actors. So you, you feel the conversation. It says, guess what? Like, adivina qué? Or, sabes qué? Right, guess what? And then you say, that's, that's great. Like we say in El Salvador, hey, que chivo vos, right? That's great. That's great, you know? Okay, thank you very much, Jonathan and, and Rene Alexi. Now we have uh, Jose Atilio and Rene, right? Rene, you're Linda, and Jose Atilio, you're Chris. Ready, boys and girls? Boy and girl, I'm sorry, I'm boy and girl. One, two, three. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. This is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nay, do you live downtown? <clears throat> no, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Rene, your camera is working, right? No. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No problem. Good. So in, in English, right, Rene, you say, no yet. No yet. Mm. Okay. Sí, siempre se me olvida. El yet. Okay. <laughs> but, is, but, but try to remember that not yet. Uh, did, you, did you have dinner? Not yet. Did you have coffee and semita? Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Now we want to have uh, Evelyn and William, right? Evelyn, you are Linda, and William, you are Chris. Ready? <clears throat> Action. Evelyn? Evelyn, Evelyn, do you copy? Okay, so uh, Erenia, please, can you help me, Erenia? Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? 
Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Erenia, thank you, William. Good conversation. Come on. So only for that you deserve the claps of Dudley, right, Dudley? Hey, thank you. I like it. Okay, now. Uh, ah, well, here we have some part of the house. Look. By the way, right, we're, they're talking about some parts of the house. <clears throat> Sorry. They were talking about the bathroom, the bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. You want to listen? Let's listen. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Page 44, exercise 1, snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Okay, so these are the parts of the house and also an apartment, right? Okay, now uh, let's go to the use of the yes, no question, right? Remember we say yesterday, that in the yes, no question, we have the auxiliary do or does, right? Do or does. Do is for, I don't remember. Can you help me? When do you use do? I remember. I use do for I or you. Ah, for me. <laughs> yes, yes, for right. you. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you. Okay, what else? We. Uh huh. Day. Okay. Day, right? Good. And we use does, the auxiliary does, for. He, she, she, she. He, she, and she, he, right? And also it. And I want to remind you that also we use do with all the plural nouns, right? For example, you say, my brothers, my friends, do my friends live in El Salvador, right? And we use does with all the singular. Does your brother work? Does my friend? Does Gracia Maria? Does William, etc., etc., right? So with singular. Now, listen, please. Page 45, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Simple Present Short Answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. So this is the structure, right? The auxiliary do, the subject you, and the verb. Remember that when we talk about the simple present, the verbs are active, action, action, right? Live. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, right? Oh, no. I don't. 
to the bedroom. Ah, bedroom is plural. Remember, plural, right? So we don't say do the does the bedrooms. No, no. Say do the bedroom because it's plural, right? Well, if, if it's only one bedroom, well, in this case we use that, right? Because does the bedroom, but it's only one, eh? Remember. So it says, does do the bedroom have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Right? So we use do, as you say, for I, you, we, and they. And thus, we use that for he, she, and it. And also with Chris, my friend, my brother, the house, Pirulais, Missy Fus, etc., etc. All the time when it's, it's singular, right? Okay, let's practice this exercise, please. Let's do it together. So this is a conversation, right? Let me fix it for you. Mm -hmm. So I have to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, yes, yes, yes it. So it says, right? Do you live in an apartment? No, I. No, I what? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Contraction, and the word not right. I live. I live in. I live in a house. Live or leaves? Live. Live, right? Because we use uh, with first live. person, you say live, right? And now this is a question. Do do it or does it? Does. Does, right? Does it have, <clears throat> does it have or does it has? Has. 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 Hmm. This is the question, right? This is the part that is difficult. Have or has? Have, teacher. Have. Have. Have, have teacher, right? I'm kidding. Have, right? So, why? Remember I said. Yeah, I see it, right? Oh, yes. yes you, you stole my word. Me robo la palabra, right? Yes. Every time we use the auxiliary, the verb is in the base form. You don't say have, but we say have, right? Uh, does it have a jar? Yes, it. It do or it, it does? Does. It does, right? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Do or do. does do, right? Do. Do you do you eat? Do you live? Do you work? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live, right? Do you live alone? Do you so little, right? Do you live alone? No, I don't. 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 No, I don't. I live. I live with my family, right? Hmm? With your family and you do, do you do all that okay do you do you work do you live do you have do you want do you do live you, do you live do you live any brothers i don't know no lo sé have, have yes do have, you teacher. have yes have teacher right? oh, i'm sorry excuse me. have one right? <laughs> do you have do you have any brothers or sisters yes i do yes i do i have i have i have a four sisters a oh, big family right a big family, no television in the family. 
So four sisters, right? Okay, good. Really? Your house. Okay, think about it. Your house is singular or plural? Singular. Plural. Ah, plural? Oh, it's singular, right? Only singular. one house. Mm -hmm. Only one house. So do we use do or does? Because it's singular, right? Do or does? Do. Do. But it's singular. Does. 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 So every time we use singular, we say does, right? Does your okay. house. Does your house. Have. Have, right? Again, because of the auxiliary, we say have, no have, right? Yes, it. Does. 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 Does, correct. Yes, it does. It. Have. It have. Yeah. It have. Mm, I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. In English, right? I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. <laughs> but it's a false, right? So it have or it has? Has. Has, right? Because it is third person. You use has with he, she, and it, right? Does it have? It has four. Four bedroom in this case, right? Now the question is you? Do. Do, right? Do you live or do have. you have? Do you have? Do you have a, your own bedroom? Tienes tu propio dormitorio? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Remember, with short answer, we don't say yes, I have. You have to say yes, I do. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, I don't. Yes. Etc. Etc. We short a uh, uh, answer, right? Okay, class. Sorry, I will take the attendance. Uh, en lo que analizamos, voy a tomar la asistencia a, a los que no no me dijeron si está. Okay, Estenia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Mire, te, yeah. tengo activa la cámara, pero no hay luz. Oh, <laughs> but I can see you, right? Con la luz es de la que, zona. Es que llovió súper fuerte. Y se ha ido la luz en la localidad. Está puro, a puro dato. Ah, ¿eh? no. ah, ah, sí, a puros datos y a pura candelita. <risa> okay. Pero aquí estoy. Pero, pero sí se le ve la sonrisa ahí, ahorita está sonriendo. Ok. <risa> <risa> ok. okay. Thank you, Tenia. Eh, gracias, María. Present. Ok. Eh, Ada. Present. Okay, nice. Ingrid? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Entonces, estamos todos presentes. Solo tengo de oyentes a Kenia, porque hoy es jueves, lunes y jueves tiene una actividad especial. Eh, Delia también está de oyente. Brenda está de oyente. Jessica Pérez está de oyente. Espero que sea, que se mejore. Un buen cafecito con semita, pues, no caería mal, Jessica. Ok, y luego Brenda Lee. Ok, los demás todos estamos activos, con micrófono encendido y cámara en acción. Right? Ok, ok, very good. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. Repeat after me, please. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Uh, 
do you live alone? Do you live alone? Ba, ba, live, live. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Don't say four, right? Four noise. Four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. I'm, mm, I'm, I'm really lucky. Lucky. Very good. Now I need, uh, what do I need? What do I need? ¿Qué necesito? Um, Dino, can you tell me? Dino. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we need two volunteers to practice this conversation with um, with uh, Linda and Chris. Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Gracias, María. Me, you teacher. Chris and Freddy, you are... No, no, no. Gracias, María, es linda. En Freddy, your Chris, right? Ready? Okay. Action. Yes. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a jar? Yes, it does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedrooms? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. 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 La suertudo, right? Lucky. Okay, nice. Very good. Any extra question? Any extra question? Okay, very good. Uh, commercial, right? Comercial. Eh, el día lunes vamos a tener el, el examen de medio curso. Okay, porque el día lunes llegamos a la mitad del curso. Eh, por favor, no falten. Vamos a desarrollarlo juntos. Y, um, bueno, lo vamos a hacer eh, al final de la clase, ¿no? Por supuesto que los que quieran adelantarse pueden hacerlo perfectamente, ¿verdad? Pueden adelantarse si quieren. Es mejor adelantarse que atrasarse. Y si tienen algún problema, pues el día que lo hagamos, ahí vamos a, a responder, ¿no? Okay, now, eh, Teacher, esto, yes, tell me, Freddy. En la plataforma encontra, lo encontramos. Eh, ¿Me? No, los cursos. <laughs> sí. <Yes. laughs> no. no, because if you say, en la plataforma lo encontramos, say, no, no, I am, not, <laughs> I am not in the platform. <laughs> yes, of course. No, sorry, Freddy, okay. I, sometimes I like to make jokes, right? Algunas veces me gusta ser un poquito gracioso. <laughs> <laughs> sí. No hay problema. No, no problema. Okay. Good. No problem. And uh, ah, 
And one more thing, right? Eh, este día les compartí el link, eh, ya que por un, una situación administrativa no se han podido cargar las clases eh, a la plataforma, pero ahí está el link para que lo vean en YouTube. Creo que todos tenemos YouTube, ¿verdad? Y entonces pueden darle link y ver los videos de... En TikTok, de la... teacher. TikTok. <laughs> no, no, en <laughs> in, in, in YouTube, right? Eh, we have now eh, seven classes. Tenemos siete videos ya. Ah, ya tenemos algo, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues ahí pueden practicar, ¿sí? Ok. Now I have some questions about, about Chris and Linda, right? Does Chris live in an apartment? Does Chris live in an apartment? No. Yes, He's living in house. Okay. Let me check, please. Okay. Do you live in, a, in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Correct. Very good. Now... Let me erase this. Okay. Sorry. Algunas veces me cuesta un poquito. I'm sorry. Okay, here. Does his house have a jar? Does Chris's house have a jar? Patio? Yes. Yes, it. Yes, it do, or yes, it does? Does, teacher. Yes, it does, right? Does Chris live in an apartment? No, he doesn't. Does his house have a jar? Yes, it does, right? Does he live alone? Does Chris live alone? Solito, vive solito. Does he live alone? No. No, he, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Does he have his own bedroom? Yes. Yes, he? Does. Yes, he does. That's correct, right? Okay. Let me see. Freddy, I can make this question to you, Freddy. Do you live in an apartment, Freddy? Yes, I live. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Does your apartment have a terrace? Terraza? Uh, yes. Yes, it? Yes, it does. Okay. Do you live alone? Yes, he does. Yes, I do. Do you live alone? Ah, sí, sí. Yes, I do. Okay. Estoy leyendo la, la pregunta, teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your own room, Freddy? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? We're going to make a listening exercise. Uh, Freddy, do me a favor. Co uh, copy your full name, please. Copy your full name in on the screen, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, I have this exercise. Good. Now here we have Did four. You? Four. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, it has four homes right look at the pictures now we're going to listen and we're going to number the homes according to what you hear number one two three and four listen please. page 45 exercise four listening it has just one room listen to four people describe their homes number the pictures from one to four one 
My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 3. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 4. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay, is that okay or again? Repetition. Again. Sorry? Again. Again, again. Okay, very good. Page 45. Homes. Number the pictures from 1 to 4. 1. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. That's number one, right? Two. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 4. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay, class. Don't yeah. Help me, please. Uh, picture number one. What number is picture number one? Picture four. four. Uh, number one. No, 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 no. And uh, number two? Two. two. Number two. two, right. Okay, two. Okay, give me a second, please. Sorry, I'm sometimes I a little slow, right? Here, right? Number two. Okay, the next picture, what number is it? Number four. Four. All right. Okay. Number one. Number one, teacher. No, no, sorry, right? If you want, listen number for the four. last time, right? Listen for number the last four. time. Four. Listen that one more time. Page 45, exercise 4, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from 1 to 4. 1. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 3. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay. So now. Four. The number next four. Is number four, four. Right. Four. Okay. Number four. That's it. Number four. Okay. And the next picture. Three. 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 Okay, and the last picture is number 
one. 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 Right. Okay. Understand? Good. Do you have any extra question, class? Do you have any extra question? No? Okay. So let's go to the presentation of today, right? This is the review. And let's go to the presentation. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work. Inglés Corporativo and the in support, and teacher Javier Gomez say welcome. Today is July 13th, right? And the topic is daily routines, activities, and practice, right? Daily routines, activities, and also practice to, today, right? tonight. What is the objective? Gracia Maria, can you help me reading the objective, please, for tonight? Ask partners. <laughs> Partners, questions about someone else, daily routines, and say, and say what they do, don't. And what they don't, right? What uh, activities they do, for example, if I say I, I repair my car, is I do, right? I don't repair my car is I don't. So the activities that other people do. Now, uh, how to make yes, no question. Remember, I will repeat. Auxiliary do, subject you, we, they, the verb, in this case is like, and then pizza, right? But if the, this is third person, he, she, and it, or singular nouns, we use das, right? Remember for us that we speak Spanish, it's strange the use of do and does, right? Because it doesn't exist in Spanish. En español no existe el do y el das. Nosotros usamos la conjugación del verbo. Okay? Pero en inglés sí. Okay. They use do and does. And then the verb live, no lives, as we say before, because we have the auxiliary, right? The auxiliary. And now, when do you use do? With I, you, we, and they. When do you use that? With he, she, and it. Right? And this is the general view. How to make question with do. And does. Do you ask for assistance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she ask for assistance? Pidió ella asistencia? Pidió ella ayuda? Yes, she does. Sí, sí, pidió. Oh, no, no, she does. Okay? Now. Here we have some activities that you probably do in your office, in your company, right? Eh, tenemos algunas actividades que problem, probablemente eh, ustedes realizan en su, en su compañía, right? En su lugar de trabajo. Actividades que eh, hacemos en, en Serpa y López, en General Depot. En Hotel Mirador Plaza, right? En Inversiones Santa Bárbara, en JM Telecom. En eh, Mediterranean Shipping. En Agrosania, en Avícola Salazar, etcétera, etcétera, right? In all the companies, what, what activity we do? Number one, know the policies. Conocer las políticas de la compañía, right? You know, for example, especially if you sell products. Realmente cuando se venden productos o, o se venden servicios, hay como ciertos secretos de el uso del producto. No, no se pueden compartir con otras compañías. So this is one of the policies, right? No the regulation, right? Regulations are like the rules. For example, no smoking. No smoking in the company. No listen to music. No using the cell phone. No kissing <laughs> in the in the company, right? No no destroying things, right? No no destruir las cosas. Those are the regulations. Help workers, help people, you know. 
especially if you're a manager, especialmente los que son jefes. Esa es una actividad que ustedes hacen a diario. Help the company too, right? Ayudar a la compañía. Advertise the company. Okay. A publicitar la compañía. Design softwares o develop software. Desarrollar o diseñar software. Answer the phone and make phone calls. These are some of the examples we, we have about the activity we do at, at the work. Any question? Okay, now we're going to make an exercise, but before to go to the exercise, uh, listen and repeat. Repeat after me, please. Know the policies. Know the regulations. Help workers. Help people. Help the company. Advertise the company. Design softwares. Design. Develop softwares. Desarrollar, right? Develop. Develop softwares. Answer the phone. Make phone calls. Okay. Now we're going to make an exercise. We already know how to make yes, no question, right? We know that we use the auxiliary do, does. And then the, we use a, a, an active verb like leave, in this case, no, help, advertise, design, develop, answer, make. Those are the, those are the, the, the verb, right? Those are the verbs. Look, uh, no, help, advertise, design, develop, answer. And make, right? Those are the verbs, the ones that indicate action, right? Okay. Now we're going to make an special exercise. Elsa, do me a favor. I need you make the question using this, this uh, two idea, right? Okay. So you're going to make a yes, no question, and you're going to ask Jessica Carolina, right? You say, Jessica Carolina, do you know the policies of your company? Okay? Now, yeah. ready? Yes, do you know the, policy, the policies uh, of our company? Jessica, yes, I, yes, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Elsa, next question. Yes, do you know the regulation of our company? No, I don't. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, with the next one, right, help. Help. Help workers, help people, help the company, right? So uh, let's make the questions. Jessica Araceli, you make the questions. And Estenia, let's say the answer, right? You still uh, in the dark, Estenia? Okay. So ya está en oscurito. Entonces no ha venido la luz todavía. Oh, we say in English blackout. 
black out. Black, black out. out. Ajá, okay. es ap apagón, apagón, blackout. Okay. okay, Jessica Araceli. Blackout total, total. Yeah, total blackout. Ajá. <risa> uh -huh. Cristenia, hair, hair, no, do you, do you hair work, workers? Yes, I do. Do you hair people? Yes, I do. Do you help the company? Yes, I do. Excelente. Also nice, right? Now, Thank you. let's go to the next question, right? Let's go to the next question. Let me see just in a second here. I will erase. The next question is advertise the company. Right? Advertise. So, please, uh, Freddy, you make the question to Gracia María. Advertise the company. Gracia María, do you advertise the company? No, I don't. Okay. Now we're going to make a special exercise, right? Uh, let me see. Ada, you're going to make the question to Freddy about Gracia María, right? And you're going to say, Freddy, does Gracia María advertise the company? And Freddy yes. is going to say, wait, wait, Freddy. Freddy is going to say, yes, she does or no, she doesn't, right? Ada, do you understand? Um, does Gracia María, you're going to say, does Gracia María advertise the company? Okay. Okay, but say, um, Freddy, Freddy, das gracia Maria, Berta, you know? Okay. Action. Eh, gracia Maria, advertis. No, no, Freddy, well, Freddy, huh. Freddy. Eh, eh, Freddy, advertis the company. Okay, so, so, sorry, Ada, give, give me a second. Das gracia Maria, das gracia Maria, Das Gracia María. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, Freddy. Advertise. Advertise the company. Ready? Yes, she does. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, she does. Gracia María, do you advertise the company? No, I don't. Ajá, uh -huh, Freddy, así se hacen los chambres. Okay. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, she doesn't. Yes, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Perdón. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Okay. Design software. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Jonathan, you make the question to uh, Rene Alexi. Design software. Uh, do you do uh -huh. you design software? No. No. I not. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh huh. Okay. Again, Jonathan, repeat the question to to Rene Alexi. Okay, uh, Rene, do you do you design software? No, I don't. Okay. Very good. Now, eh. Uh, Ingrid, you made the question to Jonathan about René Alex, right? Me le va a preguntar a Jonathan sobre René Alex, okay? Do you understand, Ingrid? Do you... No, does René Alex... You, you may like this. Listen, listen, uh, Ingrid. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, does René Alex design... Uh, okay? Good. Does René Alexi playing? No, design, design. Does René Alexi design, design software? Ah, Jonathan. Eh. 
No. He, no, he does. Bent. No, no, he's do. Uh, uh, no, uh. I don't, perdón, no, I don't. No, 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 no ok. Jonathan, está, comenzamos bien, Jonathan. Regresemos. No, he. No, he. No, he do. No, he doesn't. Oh, perdón, no, he doesn't. Ok, okay. Ingrid, repeat the question to Jonathan, please. Repeat the question. Repeat the question, Ingrid. Microphone. Microphone. Uh -huh. Does René Alexi design software? No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, right? Now, Jose Atilio, uh, let's go to the last question, right? Answer the phone. Answer the phone, right? Uh, you made the question to René. Okay. René. René, do you answer the phone? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Now, Evelyn, ready, Evelyn? You make the question to Jose Atilio about René, right? Right. Uh, give me a moment. I write. Okay. Oh, today Evelyn is with a camera. Congratulations, Evelyn. Ya está dormidito el bebé. Sí. Oh, okay. Very good. Now, make the question, sí. please. Okay. You say Jose Atilio does René. Uh -huh. Okay. Jose Atilio eh, eh, Ren, does René eh, answer the phone? Yes. She does. Okay, dokie. Thank you. You see? Very good. Now let's continue. Here we have more, right? Write report, send report, send emails, arrange meetings, arreglar o preparar reuniones, right? Uh, carry boxes, you know, cargar o llevar, caja, right? Carry products, keep track, llevar un record, llevar un registro, right? Keep track. Repair computers, ask for assistance. Okay? Now, repeat after me, please. Write reports. Send reports. Send emails. Arrange meetings. Carry boxes. Carry products. Keep track. Repair computers. Ask, ask for assistance. Okay, now let's make three questions here, right? Write reports, send reports, and send emails. William, make the question to Erenia, please. One, two, three questions. Do you write reports? Erenia? Yes, I do. Okay, continue, continue, William. Uh, do you... Do you send report? Yes, I do. Do you send email? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Now, William, does Erenia write reports? 
Ah, Chidasen. Así se hace en un chambre, no. <laughs> Sorry, William, no. You say yes, William. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Yes, da, yes. Das, das, das Erenias write reports, William? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she does. Ok. Das Erenias send reports? Yes, she yeah. does. Das Erenias send emails? Yes, she yeah. does. Das Erenias eat pupusas? Uh, yes. Ah, sería. No, chidosa. Ah, no, I don't think so. No, lo hace. no, lo hace. She, she, no, no, I say eat, eat pupusas. Oh, eat. Oh. Does, does Serenia eat pupusas? With yeah, salsita yes. negra, with salsita negra in San Miguel. <laughs> ok. Yes, sí. <laughs> yes, sí. Yes, sí, hacen. No, no, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, very good. Because, you know, Irene is Salvadorian, right? All Salvadorians like pupusa, right? The, the automatic way, uh, answer for do you eat pupusa? Yes. Yes, I do, right? Yes, she does. <laughs> okay, thank you, William. Thank you, Irene. Now let's continue, right? Here we have more installed programs, right? Repeat after me, please. Installed programs. Sell products. Exchange information. Buy new merchandise. Receive money. Decide what to buy. Decide what to buy. Transport products. Fix cars. Good. Any question about the meaning of these words? Questions? How do you say fix in Spanish? How do you say exchange in Spanish? How do you say merchandise in Spanish? Questions? No questions. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue with the practice. Elsa, do you install programs in your company? No, I don't. Okay. Jessica Carolina, does Elsa install programs in her company? No, she doesn't. Do you sell products, Jessica Carolina? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. Jessica, you. thank you. Jessica Raceli, does Jessica Carolina sell products? No, she doesn't. Good. Do you exchange information with other companies? Uh, exchange intercambiar do you uh, exchange information with other companies um, yes. yes 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 she does ah. <laughs> no no sé qué tipo de información teacher Pero ella es la encargada de compras, entonces sí no, hay no, cierta no. información que la comparte. Okay, but listen to the questions. Do you, <laughs> do you, do you exchange, you, you exchange information? Yes. Yo. Or, yes. Ah. <laughs> eh, no. No, I don't. No, you don't. Thank you very much. Estenia, does Jessica Araceli exchange information? Uh, no, she she does uh, she does 
She doesn't. No, she doesn't. Doesn't. Sorry. No, she doesn't. Okay, good. Do you buy new merchandise to your company? Do you no. buy? No, I doesn't. I doesn't. I don't or I doesn't. I don't. Sorry, no, don't. I don't. No, you don't. No, okay. I. Thank don't. you, Freddy. Does Estenia buy a uh, buy new merchant merchandise? Sorry, does Estenia buy no, new merchandise? No, she doesn't. Do you receive money, Freddy? No, I don't. Oh, qué lástima, porque yo le iba a mandar un poquito de dinero ahí. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I remember uh, when, when you, you make uh, jokes on the phone, right? Cuando hacen chistes en los teléfonos. Dice, disculpe, ¿lavan ropa ahí? No. Uy, qué chucos. Okay. It's, similar to, it's similar to that, right, Freddy? Okay, very good. So, Freddy, do, do, again, do you receive money? No, I don't. Delia. No, no. Gracias, María. Sorry. Excuse me. Gracias, María. Does Freddy receive money? No, he doesn't. Good. Gracias, María. Do you decide what to buy? No, I don't. Ada, does Gracias, María decide what to buy? Mm, no. No. I don't. No okay. chi, no chi. No, no chi. Dog. Doesn't. 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 Okay. No chi doesn't. No chi doesn't. Again, eh, Ada, does Gracia Maria decide what to buy? Mm, no. No chi. No chi does. No chi doesn't. Right. No chi doesn't. Good. Hey, Ada, do you transport products? Mm, pero es en nuestra compañía o donde ella uh -huh. es. No, no, in your company. Do you transport yes. products? Yes. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ada. Jonathan, does Ada transport products? Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Jonathan, do you fix cars? Uh, no. No, I don't. René Alexi, does Jonathan fix cars? No. Um... And dicen, no, he, no, he, no, he does, sent, sent, no, he doesn't, no, he does, okay, again, then Alexi, does Jonathan fix cars, no, he does, no, he, no, he does, no, he doesn't, no, he does, no, he doesn't, no, he does, doesn't doesn't okay that's it right okay let's continue good now we're work, working uh talking about the company right now but we're going to describe some activities we do at home right but before to go to this let's take the the attendance please elsa say present present thank you jessica carolina present jessica araceli Present. Estenia. Present, teacher. Ready? Present. Present. Gracias, María. Present. Ada. Present. Jonathan. Present. René Alexi. Present, teacher. Ingrid. Present, teacher. José Atilio.
Mr. Excuse Brand. me, present. Ah, okay, thank you. Eh, Rene? Present. Thank you. Evelyn? Present. William? Present. Erenia? Present. Okay, that's it, right? Eh, perdón por el comercial. En, tengo entendido que Kenia, Delia, Brenda, Jessica Pérez y eh, Brenda Lee siguen de oyentes, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Si pueden activarse alguno de ustedes, los que están de oyente, pues me avisan, ¿ok? Me avisan y yo los activo nuevamente. So, now, please, repeat after me. Daily routines at home. Get up. Get up. Get dressed. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Come home. Make dinner. Study. Watch TV. Go to bed. Good. Now we're going to make a practice very fast. And we, eh, sé que esto no lo hemos visto, pero vamos a improvisar, ¿ok? So, what time do you... What time do you? I get up at five a.m. What time do you get up? Mm -hmm. What time? Do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 p.m. Not bed, no bed, sorry. I go to bed at 10 p.m., right? You see? So, let's go to the question, right? Uh, we're going to start with Erenia. You make the question to, to William, right? You make the question to William. ¿Cuál es pregunta de Esta. This one, what time? Uh -huh. what time? What time do you get up? Uh -huh, William? I get up at 5 a.m. Okay, but this is true, William. Si ¿Sí coincide con la hora que se levanta usted. Soso. Soso. <laughs> oh, no lo sé, Ricky. A mí me hace <laughs> que William se levanta como a las nueve. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, right? <laughs> okay, déjenme un segundito, solo escribo un mensajito por acá. Okay. Eh, ah, very good. Brenda Lee, activada nuevamente. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, next one, right? So, what time? What time does William get up? He gets up at 5 a.m., right? 
Okay, get dressed. Vestirse, right? Get dressed. Uh, Evelyn, to René, please. What time do you? Um, la primera o la segunda? Get dressed, the second. Get dressed. Okay. These are the what examples. Time right? you... huh? Okay. What time do you go to bed? No, no, sorry, excuse me. Eh, these are only the examples, right? Estos es que están rojos solo son los ejemplos. Nosotros okay. vamos a ir haciendo esta que están aquí, ¿eh? Okay? Good. Get dressed. Evelyn, get dressed. Vestirse, right? ¿A qué hora se viste, eh? Get dressed. ¿A qué hora oh, se... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What time do you get dressed? I get dressed, I uh, get dressed at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay, good. Now, uh, Rene, make the question to Brenda. Brenda Lee, sorry. Take a shower. What time do you take a shower? I take a shower around at 4 a.m. Oh, very early. Oh. No, yes. Brenda, yeah, sorry. Brenda Lee to Jose Atilio. Brush your teeth. No voy a decir más, sino okay. que your <laughs> teeth. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Jose Atilio, what time do brush your teeth? I brush my teeth uh, before take a shower. Before you take a shower, right? Okay. Give me a second, please. Eh, vamos a activar a Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Very good. So in this case is, uh, what time do you brush your teeth, right? It's not, a qué hora le lavo yo los dientes, no, right? ¿A qué hora se le va su diente? Es your teeth. Your, aquí dice my teeth, pero eso es, es la general, ¿verdad? Ok, your teeth. But I, I, uh -huh. when, I when I answer, I can use my, right? My teeth, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you made the question about comb your hair, right? Comb your hair eh, to... The question is to Ingrid. Jose Atilio, you make the question. Ah, okay. Uh, Ingrid, what time do you do you come... do you do you? Uh -huh. Ingrid, what time do you comb your hair? Your hair. Sorry. Uh, Ingrid, what time do you comb your hair? I I go to comb my hair after take a after take a shower. Very good. After I take a shower. Very good. At Thank you. Yes, and I imagine, right, women, because all the women, all the women are beautiful, so you take too much time, right? Se toman bastante tiempo. Okay, I understand. That's normal, that's normal. Okay, Ingrid? Teacher? You, yeah, Jose Tilio? I can say um, another activity, right? Yes, if you want. Um, no... A specific time? No, no, necessary. This is just to practice. Just the yes, no question. Solo estamos practicando las preguntas de sí, no. Ahí ustedes pueden cambiar, inventar, ¿verdad? Pueden decir, what time do you eat pupusas? <laughs> etc. What time do you play with virulais? Etc. Etc. Right? So, Ingrid, you make the question to Brenda, please. No, pero sería eh, en la siguiente, porque rasurarse no, ¿verdad? Shame, no. Sería... Ponerse el maquillaje, put on makeup. 
put on makeup. Uh, aunque, pues se puede decir de las dos formas, put on o put on. Pero de la primera se oye mejor. <ríe> se oye mejor, put on. <ríe> put on makeup, right? What? A Brenda, ¿verdad? Yeah, to Brenda, yes. Brenda. What time do you put on makeup? I get up. No, I put at, on, I put on I put on makeup. Uh -huh. I put on makeup at um uh, 4 p.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh, very early, Brenda. Very early, yeah. Yes. Te toca levantarse tempranito. Okay. Now, Brenda, you make the question to uh, René Alexi. What time do you shave? Um, what time do you eat breakfast? No, no. René shave. Alexis. Shave. Shave. Rasurarse. Right? Shave. Ah, shave. Ajá. Sí, sí, quiero ver. Ya, uh, René Alexi ya, ya cumplió los 18, ¿verdad? Sí, ah, pues sí. Yes, yeah. teacher. Ah, ok. Ah, oh, pues sí, ya, ya, ya nos quitamos el bigote ahí. <ríe> ok, ajá, René Alexi. Ajá, hello, teacher. What time do you shave, say, Brenda? ¿A qué hora se rasura? What time do you shave? Cinco horas. No, <ríe> ok, invent, invent. Cada vez que le sale la barba, dice. <risa> okay. I shave. Ajá, René Alexi, I shave. I'm two and six. Ajá. AM o PM? PM. PM, ok. Ok, again. I shave. I shave. At. At. Six. PM. Ok, thank you. Now, let's make the question eh, to Jonathan. Es que, es que shave lo, lo tuve que usar con un chico y puro un make-up con una chica, por eso le dimos vuelta ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ok, now, Thank you, ahora sí vamos con Need Breakfast. René Alexi, you make the question to, eh, to Jonathan. Eat breakfast. What time? What time that you eat? Breakfast. Oh. Breakfast. Huh? Breakfast. Breakfast. Desayuno, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, Jonathan. I eat breakfast at... Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Very good. Frijolitos, tortillita, platanito, cremita. Ok. Very good. <laughs> ya me dio hambre. Ok, Jonathan, please. Come home. You make the question to eh, Ada. ¿A qué hora llega a casa? Regresa a casa, Ada. Ok. Ok. What time do you come home? Ada? I I again I come home. You, I come I home. come I come home. Seven. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Seven p.m. Now, Ada, you make the question to Gracia Maria. Make dinner. Make dinner. Um. What? What day do you make dinner? Gracias, María. I make dinner 6.30 p.m. Okay, gracias, María. You made the question to Freddy. What time do you study? study? Freddy, what time do you study? I study at 8 o'clock. 
Okay, Freddy, you make the question to watch TV. To Estenia. Estenia, what time do you watch TV? Uh, um, I go to... I watch, well, I watch, I watch. Well, okay. I go watch TV. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Go no, go no. Only I watch. I watch. Uh -huh. Ah, sorry. I watch TV... No. Never, right? No. Never. <laughs> Not, never. 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 Never in... Oh. And that night, never in day, never in morning. Never, no. in, never in vacation. Never in the life. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, okay. Más que más que han quitado la luz, peor todavía. Peor, así. Okay, okay. Estenia, please uh, go to bed to Jessica Araceli. Go okay. to bed. Uh, Jessica. What go to bed? What time? What time? Pero, what time go to bed? What time go. do you? What time do you? Uh, sorry. Jessica, what time do you go to bed? Um, I go to bed at um, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Here we have also free time routines. Free time routine, right? When when you don't uh, have to work. This is actividades de tiempo libre, right? Que como ya escuchamos a Estenia, casi no, nada de eso, porque a ella no le queda tiempo libre. Okay. Now, repeat after me, please. Exercise. Up and down. Up and down. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Tomar una siesta, right? Take a nap. Read. Check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Okay. Elsa, what time do you listen to music? Um... I listen to music uh, on weekend. On weekend, okay. Now, uh, Jessica Carolina, when do you exercise? Um, every day. I exercise. Every day. Say, I exercise. Ah. Uh, mm. I exercise every day. Okay, thank you very much, right? Good. Now, here we have more activities. In this case, ah, uh, que hacer domésticos. Eh, you know? <laughs> anyway, but I can say it, okay? Repeat after me. Ah, sorry, do you have any question? Any question about this? Alguna pregunta sobre esto de free time routines? No, okay. Household chores routine. Routinas de que hacer en la casa, right? Repeat us to me, please. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Sacar la basura, right? Take out the garbage. Go shopping. Dust. Sweep.
มอบ This is no Ministerio de Obras Públicas, no. This mob is uh, trapear, right? Trapear mob. Okay. So I will ask the question. If, but if you say no, I don't. You tell me who in your house that, right? Les voy a preguntar si hacen esto, pero si ustedes no lo hacen, me van a responder quién lo hace. Su mamá, su hermano, su el tío. Si hay trabaja una muchacha en la casa, en fin. Whatever, right? Okay. Now, uh, Evelyn, uh, no, sorry, uh, Erenia, do you wash the dishes? No, she doesn't. N no, she I? Does. Erenia, do you wash the dishes? She. Yes. She dishes. Yes. She more than does. She, she dishes. She does more. Ah, wash the dishes, lavar los trastes. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, Erenia. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay, very good. Now, uh, William, do you clean the house? Yes, I do. Thank you. Evelyn, do you do the laundry? Lavar la ropa, right? Do you do the laundry, Evelyn? Okay, René, do you do the laundry, René? Hello? So, Brenda Lee, please, do you do the laundry? Nadie quiere lavar la ropa. Sorry. Uh, sorry. No, Brenda Lee. Uh -huh. la ropa. Uh -huh. sí. do, do you do the laundry? Yes, I do. Jose Atilio, do you take out the garbage? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Ingrid, do you go shopping? Yes, I do. Brenda, do you dust, limpiar el polvo, right? Do you dust? Do you dust or dust? Hmm? Yes, I do. René Lexi, do you sweep? Barrer? Yes, I do. Jonathan, do you mop? Yes, I do. Aunque okay, no lo sé, Rick. Todos hacen que hacer en la casa. <laughs> ok. Vamos a dar beneficio de la duda, ok? Thank you, thank you very much. Now let's continue. We are going to introduce the frequency of, right? Ahora vamos a introducir con qué frecuencia hacemos esas actividades tanto en el trabajo como en nuestra casa, right? Always. I always clean the house. Siempre limpio la casa, right? I usually clean the house. Usualmente. Es un 90% de posibilidad. 80%. Often. Con frecuencia, right? I often clean the house. No dan por un 60%. No. Sometimes. Algunas veces un 40, 30%. Often, right? Fre con frecuencia. Sometimes. Sorry, sometimes es como un 40. Sometimes, algunas veces, algunas veces. So, always es siempre, usually, usualmente. Often es eh, frecuentemente. Sometimes, algunas veces. Then, rarely. I rarely clean the house. Yo raramente limpio la casa. I never clean the house. Nunca limpio. Ok. So, repeat after me, please. Always. Usually, often, sometimes, rarely, rarely, never, never. Okay, now let's go to this activity, right? Wash the dishes, clean the house, do the laundry, take out the garbage, etc., etc., right? Now, I'm going to ask about the frequency. Hoy le voy a preguntar con qué frecuencia lo hacen. Look at this. First, you're going to mention 
I, right? I, look. I, right? Then you're going to say always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. Then run, right? Yo siempre corro. I always run. Okay? Or I usually run. Usualmente corro. Often, frecuentemente, sometimes, alguna vez. I rarely run. Yo raramente corro. O I never run. Yo nunca corro. Yo vuelo. <laughs> okay. You see? Now, let's continue, right? ¿Con quién nos quedamos? Eh, con Jonathan, ¿verdad? Yes, Jonathan. Con usted me quedé, ¿verdad? Okay. Good. So, Ada. Uh, do you do you uh, wash the dishes? Please, I say I want. Ada, I want you to say always, right? Wash yeah. the dishes. I. I. No, I always. <laughs> I always. I. I always usual. No, usually no. no. Mire que le estoy dando crédito, que siempre le trata. Pero, pero ahora me quiere decir, no, rara vez. No, no, no ok. I always. Ya no se exhibiste. Ok. I always. I always. Wash. Room. No, wash. Wash. I wash. The dish. The dish. The dish. I always wash the dishes. So Ada always. I always wash the dish. Ada always wash the dishes. Okay. Thank you. Now, eh, gracias María. Usually, I need you to say usually. Eh, gracias María. Do you do you do the laundry? I usually uh, love do, the laundry. Do, do, love do. the laundry. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Freddy, often, often, please. Do you dust? I often dust. Okay, thank you. Sometimes, sometimes. Estenia, sometimes. Do you take out the garbage? I sometimes take out the garbage. The garbage. The garbage, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Let me see when I raise this. Okay. Rarely, 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 right? Eh, ¿Dónde me quedé? Freddy, ya le dije, Freddy. No, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no, verdad? Entonces sería Jessica Araceli. Jessica Araceli, uh, you say rarely. Do you, do you mop? Rarely. I rarely, say I rarely. I rarely. Uh, mop. I re rarely mop. Okay, very good, right? I really move. Okay. Now go shopping. Go shopping. Jessica Carolina, do you go shopping? I never go shopping. Ooh. <laughs> you see, este, es, es como, no sé cómo decirle uh, a alguien. ¿Te gusta el fútbol? A un hombre, ¿verdad? ¿te gusta el fútbol? <laughs> Dile a una mujer, no te gusta ir de compra, ah, en la muerte, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jessica Carolina. Okay, that's it, right? Now, uh, look at the example. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. No do, does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. And you never do. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I always wash the dishes. She 
she usually cleans the house. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. You never does. Okay. That's it, right? Here we have other expression. Look, también aquí hay otras expresiones que indican la frecuencia cuando uno hace una actividad. En lugar de decir, I always exercise, puedo decir también, I exercise every day. Uh, Jessica Carolina me parece que me dijo que hace ejercicio todos los días. So, I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day, right? Ok, léanme un ratitito esto, por favor. Solo voy a traer una tacita de agua y ya regreso. Denme un segundito. Thank you. I'm sorry for the interruption, right? So I play football twice a week, dos veces a la semana, right? She goes out for dinner three times a month. Salgo a cenar tres veces al mes. Okay? She goes dancing on Saturday, right? Va al bailongo los sábados, right? She takes a nap once a day. Toma la siesta una vez al día, ¿no? My sister reads once a month. Una vez al mes. I go to the movies every Sunday. Bueno, en Salvador los miércoles, ¿eh? ¿verdad? I... Dos por uno. <laughs> I go to the movies every Wednesday. <laughs> I visit friends every weekend. Visito los amigos cada fin de semana. Right? Okay. Any question? So we finish the presentation now. Eh, what time is it? Uh, ya casi se nos acaba el tiempo, pero les voy a compartir un material. Give me a second here. Sí, bueno. Okay, listen to the conversation, please. Page 61, exercise 6, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, look, this is the use of uh, simple present using uh, others of frequency, right? My family always has desayuno japonés, right? It's uh, con pescado, right? <laughs> Okay, and then it says, my family always has a Japanese-style breakfast. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Right? Sometimes we have a salad. We always have green tea. I never eat fish, right? So this is the use of the frequency adverse. Listen, please. Page 61, exercise 7, grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. 
I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Okay, so these are the frequency of, right? We have some exercises here, but we're going to do something. Here I have some sentences that are uh, in disorder. So we're going to scr um, scramble them. Lo vamos a ordenar, right? So remember, uh, we can use sometimes. El único que se puede usar al principio es sometimes. Pero de ahí todos van entre el sujeto y el verbo. Por ejemplo, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. So in this case, we have the subject, the frequency adverb, and the verb, right? The subject, the frequency adverb, and the verb, right? Okay, I will give you two minutes, right? Le voy a dar dos minutitos para que lo arreglemos. You can use your notebook, please, if you want. No, dos minutitos porque casi termina la clase, sorry. Eh, mientras arreglan, eh, quisiera saber si Ada puede quedarse diez minutos conmigo al final de la clase, Ada. Yes. Yeah, excelentoso, thank you, ya. Yeah. Está agendada aquí para hoy. <laughs> okay. Bueno, se nos acabó el tiempo. So let's do it together, right? I will help you. Number two, right? What is the subject? What is the subject? Work, I, snacks, eat, at hardly ever. I, I, I correct. I, right. early. Good. I, 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 what is the frequency? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. I hardly ever. What is the eat. verb? Eat. 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 Snack. And then snacks. No, snap. At, at work. Home. At work. At, at work. Work, right? Oh. Alguien dijo at home por ahí? Ajá. Uh -huh. Así sea no chambre. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, uh, eat or pasta dinner I. 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 I, I, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. For dinner, right? Okay, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Eh, el adverbio de frecuencia sometimes. El adverbio de frecuencia sometimes también se puede poner al principio. Es el único que se puede poner al principio. Always también se puede, pero no es muy frecuente, ¿verdad? Es más común poner sometimes al principio o después del sujeto. Entonces podemos decir sometimes I o puedo decir I sometimes. Pero con los demás no. Oigan, con los demás siempre entre el sujeto y el verbo. Ok, number four. I. I. Open. Open. How. Dinner. Dinner. With my Ah, no. Huh? <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. I often with have family. dinner with, with my family. With family. My family, mm -hmm. right? With my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understand? Hokey dokey, right? Any question? No. No questions? Okay, class. Thank you very much. Now we'll take the attendance. Vamos a pasar lista. Y a mimir. Solo vamos a quedar con Ada nada más, ¿verdad? Okay. 
Ahora vamos a tomar la asistencia de arriba para abajo. Yes. Elsa. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Carolina. Present. Good night. Yes. Good night. Jessica Araceli. Areli, sorry. Oh, so Araceli. I'm sorry. <laughs> perdón, Jessica. Perdón, estoy ahorita. Ya. Es la hora, perdón. Jessica okay. Araceli. Present. Ok, goodbye. Present. Good night. You tomorrow. Estenia. You. Present. Good okay. night. Good night. Freddy. Your present teacher. Ok. Good night. Good night. Gracias, María. Present. Good night. Good night. Eh, Ada. Ada. Present, present. No se me vaya a ir, Ada. No se me va a escapar. Ok. Jonathan. No, no. Ok. Jonathan. Present. Good night. Good night. Pre eh, René Alexi. Present teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Brenda. Present. Good night. Bye bye. Ingrid. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. And Jose Atilio. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you, Jose Atilio. Brenda Lee. Present. Good night. Good night. Rene. Present. Good night. Good night. Evelyn. Present. Good night. Good night. William. Good night. Good night. Erenia. Good night. Good night. Luego tengo a uh, Kenya. Uh, Delia. Están de oyentes, nada más, ¿verdad? Ahí tomamos la asistencia, ¿ok? Eh, Jessica Pérez, está de oyente. Bueno, ok. Hello, Ada. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo ha estado, Ada? Bien, bien, gracias. Bien. Eh, me dijo que trabaja de teacher, ¿verdad? ¿De profesora? Y, y no en no. sí de eso. Es mi profesión, ah, sí. Okay. Pero okay. yo trabajo en importaciones y exportaciones. Oh, muy bien. Uh -huh. Yo trabajé 10 años en aduana. Aduana de San Bartolo. Así que ya me puedo... Ah. Como es el, el trabajo duro de los que importan y exportan. ¿no? Es súper difícil. Es claro. Ok. Sí, claro. Un montón Mejor, de problemas. Siempre hay un pero. Hay un documento, un sello, claro, un, claro. una fecha equivocada, un papelito que faltó. Uf, claro. Ya. O sea, nos hace el sí. gran lío, ¿verdad? Y a sacar la mercadería, sí, ¿verdad? porque el cliente está que. Sí, Acabar todo. Ah, <risa> todo es para ayer. Ok, eh, Ada, ¿qué le ha parecido la clase, Ada? Dice que, um, de hecho, me gusta, porque okay. incluso yo eh, siempre lo empezaba y nunca terminaba porque me parecía aburrido. Pero ahí va a terminar, hoy... Hoy, vamos a hacer que termine el curso, oiga. Yo sé, pero también, pero hoy siento que es bastante dinámico, eh, me gusta por, por eso, porque hay una, una forma dinámica y, y participativa, ¿va? No, solo okay. es, no solo que usted lo hace, sino que hace que nosotros también lo hagamos. Ok, pero es ¿le muy... parece que a veces lo hacemos muy rápido o, o entiende los eh, temas? Por... Eh... eh... He venido entendiéndolos casi todos hasta eh, lo de los auxiliares. Eso, los auxiliar, de hecho, me el, he perdido. Ajá. El do y el das. Ajá, el do ah, y vale. el das. Ah, pues, me veámoslo, he perdido. Veámoslo ahorita. Si veámoslo Vas. ahorita. Quiero ver si, déjeme ver si puedo compartir una pizarra aquí. Vamos a ver si puedo. Ahí está. ¿La alcanza a ver? Sí. Bueno, vamos a ver si puedo escribir. Mm, mm, ah, sí, sí. Sí, ya, sí. Va, muy bien. Es que, fíjese que el problema que tenemos nosotros en español es que nosotros usamos la conjugación del verbo, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos, yo como, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Tú uh -huh. comes. Ellos 
come. Eh, ella come. Y así, vamos a ir, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que hacemos acá eh, es conjugar el verbo de acuerdo al sujeto, ¿verdad? Y este, lo hacemos en pasado, presente y futuro. Por ejemplo, decimos, yo comí, tú comiste, ellos comieron, ¿verdad? Y en el futuro igual, yo comeré, tú comerás, nosotros comeremos, etc. Entonces, esto no existe en inglés. En inglés, simplemente yo digo, mire, I eat, you eat, they eat, we eat. Entonces, fíjense que el, el, el verbo permanece como plano, ¿no? Como estático, ¿no? no hay transformación del verbo. Ajá, entonces... Cuando usted agarra un verbo y lo quiere usar en pasado, en presente, en futuro, o con algún otro tipo de auxiliar en inglés, este, para saber si ese verbo está en pasado, presente, futuro y todo eso, ahí es donde se usan los auxiliares. O sea que el auxiliar me sirve eh, a dar como para darle dirección a la acción. O sea, si yo uh -huh. quiero que esa acción sea afirmativa o negativa, uso el auxiliar. Si quiero que sea pregunta, uso el auxiliar. Si quiero que sea en pasado, el auxiliar. El presente, el auxiliar. Y así. O sea, básicamente es como, el auxiliar es como un timón. Cuando usted va manejando y el timón la guía, ¿no? Entonces, el, el auxiliar es, es eso. Como un timón que le dice, va, váyase por aquí al negativo, váyase por aquí al positivo, váyase por aquí a uh -huh. pregunta, váyase aquí al tercera persona singular. Y, y ahí, uh -huh. ahí nos lleva el auxiliar. ¿Ok? entonces sí. en el caso del verbo to be este, es bien especial porque el mismo verbo es el mismo auxiliar ¿verdad? pero lo que le quiero explicar este, se lo voy a explicar en, en relativo al do y el das ¿verdad? porque tenemos varios tiempos, el pasado simple simple past tenemos el future future el present continuous. Eh, uy, presente. El presente perfecto. Present perfect. Permítame. Present perfect. Ok. Y lo que me interesa ahorita o nos interesa ahorita es el presente simple. ¿Sí? Vaya, ya más o menos le expliqué qué es el auxiliar dentro del inglés. Es el que nos da la dirección, el que nos uh -huh. dice. Ellos lo usan en sustitución de la conjugación del verbo que usamos nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Esa conjugación uh -huh. que nosotros usamos, usted lo, lo encuentra natural porque es nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? Pero si ya esa uh -huh. idea... Si esa idea da, la pasamos para inglés, no se puede. Lo que ellos hacen, en lugar de usar esa conjugación, es usar auxiliares. Que a mí me parece más fácil, fíjese, que el estar sí. cambiando el verbo, que cambiarlo aquí, que ponerle allá. En cambio que aquí, lo único que hacemos es ponerle un auxiliar. Y entonces, uh -huh. ¿cuál es el auxiliar? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar del presente simple? Es el do y el das. Que es, estos dos son iguales, lo mismo. Lo único uh -huh. que, que el das lo usamos para he, she, e it. Pero tiene exactamente la misma función que el do. Es el mismo, pues. ¿Sí? Solo que eh, uno se usa con ciertos sujetos y otro se usa uh -huh. con otros sujetos. Pero es el mismo. ¿Qué nos indica este auxiliar, Ada? El auxiliar nos indica que la acción que usted está describiendo está en presente. Solo eso. Solo para eso me uh -huh. sirve el auxiliar. Para decir que la acción que estoy describiendo está en presente simple. ¿Sí? Para el pasado uh -huh. se usa did, para el, para el presente perfecto se usa el have, y así vamos con un montón de auxiliares. Pero el que nos interesa ahorita es ese, ¿verdad? Y si hacemos una oración uh -huh. afirmativa, Por ejemplo, I clean the house. 
no necesitamos el auxiliar. ¿Ok? No se necesita el auxiliar. ¿Entendido? En las oraciones afirmativas. Pero si usamos Ajá. oraciones negativas, negativo. Ay, sí. Si quiere hacer preguntas, me detiene. Oiga. Sí, sí. Vaya. Aquí sí uso el auxiliar. Mire, I do not clean the house. No, no limpio uh -huh. la casa. Solo es un ejemplo que conste. <ríe> yo, no, sí. yo, no, yo no limpio la casa. You, I do not. Y lo que hacemos aquí es unir la palabra not con el do. Y decimos, I don't. Mire, I, I don't clean. ¿Sí? Pero es el mismo do. ¿eh? Es el mismo do. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Y si quiero sí, decirlo sí. con tercera persona, he does not clean the house. ¿Sí? Lo unimos otra vez si quiere. Sí. Dámoslo. That's it. Ok. O sea, la respuesta en sí no cambiaría, solo es. Solo es el... Cuando es el. Uh -huh. O sea, cuando se pone el. El auxiliar, o el, ¿no? el auxiliar en sí no, no da como una variación en la respuesta. No, simple y sencillamente estamos diciendo que no ocurre eso. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. En el afirmativo no lo usamos, el auxiliar, pero decimos que sí ocurre. Pero cuando decimos que no ocurre, uh -huh. es necesario usar el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Y en el caso de tercera persona, el verbo ya no se pone con S porque usamos el auxiliar, ¿ok? Y el uh -huh, tema sí. que estamos viendo ahorita es preguntas, ¿sí? Questions. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Y otra vez usamos el auxiliar, miren. Do they eat lunch? ¿Tienen ellos? ¿Almuerzan ellos? Do they, do they? Y respondemos con yes, they do. Otra vez volvemos a usar el auxiliar, miren. O no. O no. 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 They don't. No. They don't. Vaya, ahí está. En negativo y en preguntas y en respuestas cortas vamos a usar el auxiliar do y el das. ¿Y para qué nos sirve? O sea, ¿de qué sirve el auxiliar? Ah, es el que le da dirección a la acción. Siempre que vamos a ver el do y el das, vamos a saber que estamos hablando del presente simple. En otras palabras, uh -huh. describir rutinas. Porque el presente simple para eso nos sirve, para describir lo que hacemos a diario, o semanalmente, o, o los fines de semana, ¿no? La frecuencia con que uh -huh. hacemos algo, ¿sí? La rutina. Para eso nos sirve el presente simple. ¿Ok? Y en, dentro del presente simple, siempre vamos a estar usando el do. Y el das. Más o menos le aclaré o, o le escurecí sí. el tema. No, 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 más o menos. Ya es como. O sea, sí me confundía, pero ya es porque no le encontraba Sentido. en qué momentos. Ah, ajá, sí. en qué momento se necesitaba o por qué se utilizaba. Sí, se utiliza, ya le digo, porque él, él es el que nos indica. Que el, uh -huh. la acción está en presente simple y solo uh -huh. se usa en negativo, en pregunta y uh -huh. en respuesta corta. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. ok, bueno, el consejo de la noche antes de, de terminar, este, Ada, por favor vea películas de muñequitos en inglés, si es posible, okay. una semanal, si tiene Netflix o HBO o Disney, lo que tenga. Uh -huh. Pues aproveche Ajá. y vea una película semanal, si le queda tiempo. Si no, una película cada mes. Ah, okay. pues, pero, pero, pero que sea una costumbre estar viendo películas en inglés. Además de música en inglés. Ay. Oiga, eso es fantástico. Hoy les envío un video de una sí. canción. Sí, sí. sí ¿Alguna, ¿Alguna vez había escuchado esa canción, Ada? No que recuerde, porque siempre, siempre he sido de las que si no sé qué significa, mejor no las escucho. Ah, Ajá. bueno, esa, esa habla de cosas románticas, así que no tiene nada más. Pero, pero ahí, sí. viendo la letra, usted iba a entender que, 
que es un chico que está enamorado y la chica como que le paga mal ahí, no sé, pero... <risa> ajá, entonces... Correcto, entonces... Eh, por ahí la música nos ayuda muchísimo a entender el inglés, así que por favor le suplico que, que escuche música en inglés, oiga ¿Alguna, okay. pregunta, ¿alguna pregunta extra antes de retirarnos? Ada no no, no. Okay. so, no. happy night que tenga una feliz noche gracias. y primero Dios nos vea okay. primero gracias bye bye adiós